the Guy V. Lewis practice facility today where I'll be spotlighting the UH women's basketball program. And I'm very happy to be joined by the senior guard, Tierra Young, one of the leading scorers on the team. How are you doing today, Tierra? I'm good. Yeah, thank you so much for taking the time and uh, to talk with me. So um, how do you think um, you were able to give your best performance of the season um, in the semifinals of the American Athletics Conference tournament? You had um, 26 points, two, two threes, two steals, and a huge win over Wichita State, um, saying two to 64. How were you able to um, get that done? Uh, I think it was, you know, the confidence that my teammates give me, um, the, the, my teammates that I'm surrounded with, you know, just them believing in me, me allowing myself to believe in myself and knowing that this is what I dreamed of, this is what I worked hard for. So just all the confidence that they give me and the confidence I, that comes from within myself. Yeah, I think you did a really great job in that game. That was a huge reason why um, the team was able to advance to the first ever um, conference final. Um, what do you think was the biggest takeaway um, from that championship game that you and the team will have um, versus, you know, coming up, you know, you almost got the win, just coming up a little bit short versus East Carolina. What can you learn from that and carry on? Um, I would say, you know, us just sticking together even when adversity hit us. Um, we faced adversity a lot this season, so us learning to keep sticking together and being there for each other when the adversity hit, I think that's the biggest takeaway. Yeah, I, I think that's really awesome. That's what the team is all about to, you know, yeah. step up around you and, um, how do you think the team was able to, you know, rattle off um, those wins down the stretch? You guys were 4-1 in the last five games. Um, um, what do you do to learn about the team, and how do you guys maintain the motivation? Uh, I think it was more so about, you know, us um, coming into practice, locking in and focusing on the little things that we needed to take care of. So film room and then what we see in film, bringing it to the court. It was more so of us just locking in and focusing. Yeah, I totally agree. I think that's a really great – um, way to um, you know keep getting wins and um, this year you were the sixth player off the bench and you provided a spark for the team. Um, last year you started eight games and you know this year all your numbers improved in terms of scoring. You had 12 points per game. Um, you know, did you ever want to be in the starting lineup and and if so, how did you kind of adapt your role to where you are now? Um, it's always good to be in the starting lineup, but it's not something that um you know oh I must be in the starting okay. lineup. I have. So, you know, coming off the bench, I was just doing whatever I can to help my team, you know. So it was really just about that, doing whatever I can to help my team. You know, my teammates putting me in the best position for me to grow and then me allowing myself to be the leader that they need. So it's pretty much all around. Yeah, that's awesome. And, um, you know, you guys share a facility with the men's team. Did you guys, you know, ever, you know, talk to them or share advice or, you know, talk with – Coach Cohen Sampson on the men's team? Oh, yeah. He always, before every game, he would come in the training room. He would always give us encouraging words, tell us good luck. Coming from practice or shoot around, the men's would always dap us up and tell us good luck. And it was mostly encouraging words both ways. Yeah, so transitioning to um, um, your high school, um, you know, you won a numerous amount of MVPs in, uh, for your district, for your city, uh, for your state. You were the um, Gatorade Louisiana Player of the Year. So how do you think you're able to be um, so successful in that? And how do you say, I guess, you transferred those experiences over to um, University of Houston? Well, I would say it was a lot of training, the sacrifices mm -hmm. my parents made for me. Um, it was them believing in me that helped me believe in myself at a young age, knowing that I was capable of doing this and really falling in love with the sport. So it was really a lot of motivation coming from my parents, my brother, my family. And then, you know, transferring it, coming to Houston, is it was really all about, like, you dreamed of this, you put in all this work. Now it's time to showcase all the work that you put in. So that's pretty much it. Yeah, I love how, you know, the family supports you. And uh, what experiences, I guess, did you have in childhood that helped you become the player that you are right now? I would say seeing my parents, both my mother and father played, and they were coaches, so, mm -hmm. you know, since I was little, being at every game with yeah. them, watching them coach, you know, them putting the ball in my hands at halftime of their games, I would be on the court. Mm -hmm. So I would, I would say my parents and them coaching. I think that's really awesome to have, you know, coaches, the parents, they help you, you know, develop even better. Um, what are your thoughts, you know, about the city of Houston and being here for the past years? And you're from Lafayette, so what are your thoughts about the city of Houston? I love Houston. Um, mm -hmm. I love Louisiana too, but I told – my family, Houston is probably where I will live yeah. in the future. <laughs> I love Houston. It's, I think this it was a great move for me. You know, it helped 
moving out of Louisiana, coming into Houston, I felt like it helped me grow as a person. Mm -hmm. So I love Houston. I think that's awesome. You know, I'm born and raised here in Houston. I go to UH. I'm in my freshman year. So, you know, I love Houston. I'm glad that, you know, you like the city. And um, how did you, um, you know, get into basketball when you were a kid? What what inspired you? Uh, that's crazy because I wanted to be a cheerleader. Oh, yeah? <laughs> and then <laughs> my mama, she was like, oh, no, we're not doing that. <laughs> so they bought me a goal in the house mm -hmm. and she put a ball in my hands and signed me up for a little league. And ever since then, it went from there. I think that's really awesome. And did you have any, you know, inspiration, someone that you modeled their game after, whether in the NBA or WNBA? Yeah, uh, in the WNBA it was Maya Moore. I love Maya Moore. And the NBA, now my Kevin Durant and John Morant. They're yeah. one of my favorite players. I love to watch them. And a lot of the stuff, my game today comes from watching a lot of YouTube videos from Kevin Durant. Yeah, that's awesome. You know, he's an elite scorer, one of the best scorers in the game. So, you know, he's a really great um, inspiration. Did your, I know you have a brother, Warren. Did he play basketball? He played football and basketball. Oh, nice. Yeah. So I ain't really get to watch him as much the past two years. But my freshman and sophomore year of college, I got to watch him. And, yeah, he's, he, he reminds me of myself a lot. And then his senior year, which is this year, he decided to change his number. He was like, sister, I want the same number as you. I want to okay. be like you. I was like, all right, yeah. And that's really awesome. I think that that's really, really cool. And, um, you know, you were at LSU before you came here. Um, why did you decide to come to the University of Houston? You played 30 games over there. How would you, I guess, compare the programs? What brought you here? Um, I would say, you know, it just wasn't a program that fitted me, fitted my style of play. Okay. So when I entered the portal, I was looking for a program that was – family oriented, a program that fitted my style of play. And when I came and we had workouts, I was like, hmm, this is it. This is it. This is where it's at. Yeah, I like that feeling. I'm glad you chose this place and, you know, the team was able to accomplish great things this season because of your um, performances. And um, what do you think was a particularly challenging moment that you've had throughout your career and how you overcame it? Hmm. I would say, you know, the, before the season started this year was one big challenge. I challenged, I faced mentally. Um, it was just, you know, battling injuries in the summer and then coming in, you know, everybody expecting a lot. Um, it was, it was overwhelming. And mentally it, it, it took me to a place that I fought hard to get out of right before the season started. So that was one big challenge that I had to face. Yeah, you know, I think you did a really great job in you know, overcoming it and showing uh, the talent that you have. And, um, you know, what are your thoughts on the head coach, uh, Ron Hughley, and, you know, your experiences with him over the past years? How has he helped you? <laughs> uh, I, think, I think he's a great guy. He, mm -hmm. um, he, he checks on his players and, you know, always looking to encourage us, telling us he believes in us. And I think he's a great guy. Yeah, you know, I've heard a lot of great things about him. He seems to be a really nice guy. So, you know, I'm glad that he's leading this program. And, um, you know, this program is holding going to be moving to the Big 12. Um, I know you're a senior, so I'm assuming you're graduating, right? Yeah, I graduated. Man. Yeah, so um, what are your thoughts on, you know, the program moving there and how can they, um, how will they fit there and get better? I think it would be, you know, a huge, a huge step. I think, I think we're prepared for it. I mean, we've yeah. played teams that, was power five so I think I think we're we more than prepared I think we can you know play with anybody like mm -hmm. so I think moving to the big 12 would be great yeah I think it's gonna be really great for this program as well to get more recognition and you know making it to the first uh you know tournament final was a really big step in the right yeah. direction and how do you think this program as a whole can grow more and um what do you think could be done for it to get I guess even more recognition um, I would say, you know, recruiting the right players with great leadership because, mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, the coaches are, you know, leaders, but mm -hmm. you are, the, the people you're on the court with, you have to have a different bond. Yeah. So, you know, just keeping that family atmosphere, recruiting the right players, you know, that are not afraid to speak up, not afraid to lead, I think that would be one of the biggest things. Yeah, for sure. I'm really looking forward to, you know, seeing new players come to this team and help uh, make this program better. And for the people that, 
you know, don't watch as much women's basketball, what do you encourage them to say? Why should they watch it? They missing out. I mean, <laughs> you know, I know a lot of people like the men, they say it's faster, you know, dunks and all yeah. that, but the women is just as exciting. Mm -hmm. It's just as exciting. Yeah, you know, I've had, I've watched your guys' tournament and, you know, I think that there's some unique aspects of the women's game that, you know, I think that can be enjoyed. And um, what advice would you give to um, young girls who aspire to play college basketball? Never give up on your dreams. Follow your heart. So whatever you put your mind to, you can do it. Yeah, I love that. I love that mindset. And, um, you know, what experiences I guess you have here at the University of Houston as a whole um, that, that you're going to take forward with you for the future and um, that, I guess, made you a better person overall? I will honestly say the bonds I've created with my teammates. Mm -hmm. um, that I will cherish forever. Like, being, you know, not from Houston, not from Texas, they gave me a family away from my family. And that's something that's rare to find. So the bonds I've created, the uh, relationships I've built, that's something I would cherish and take with me forever. You know, I think that's really awesome that you have such, you know, close bonds with, with your teammates. I think that just makes a better team. And, uh, you know, Tia, I really appreciate the time. I had a great conversation with you. Thank you so much, and um, good luck uh, with your future. Thank you. Yeah, thank you so much. Yeah, thank you so much.